Hey lovelies, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Virgo Sun, Moon, and also Rising Weekly General Tarot reading February 7th up until February uh, 13th, 2022. Uh, and if you do wish to skip the the card draw for your star sign and you do want to jump right away to the spread you can definitely do that by using the timestamp in the uh, description down below uh, other than this if you do enjoy the content here on the channel guys and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit the notification button so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads uh, nor as well uh, live streams that we do all right so let's uh go toward the draw and the first card for you uh virgo that is going to be the page of swords followed by the second one that it is uh, the five of cups uh moving next we have uh the nine of cups followed by uh the death card and the final card for your spread that is going to be the queen of wands right so these five cards but i do wish to draw one card for the page of swords uh which is gonna be uh the hermit and one more card for the queen of wands which is going to be the knight of pentacles okay so those are uh this is your draw and now let's jump right away to the uh, reading itself all right guys so here it is your spread on the screen and uh right off the back we do have a very very key moment uh in between the five of cups and the nine of cups that happens towards the uh, mid of the week that literally is where you can see the jumping out of a sense of um of disappointment or even you may have um at that stage some feeling of losses like you lost um, a friend or you lost a business to um, to a state where you're going to be very happy with how you stand so maybe that loss or a disappointment was a blessing in disguise so you, we definitely have a i don't know how to put it into words reversal maybe or we do have a yeah it's a, it's a blessing in disguise here into the uh into the mid of uh, the week itself but the start of the week it's not going to be a great start having the page of swords with uh, the catalyzed by the hermit these are active enemies and uh, as such that is a person who will very strongly are or is gonna uh, how can i it's gonna have a strong fight with you it's like fight through arguments and uh it's it's just it will be very futile and pointless for you to make them listen or to make them even understand it's just they won't be able to fathom uh your standpoint say the way you want to do things you know or why in generally you are what you are why in generally you you do what you do and so on and so forth uh <clears throat> these kind of people they don't handle very well different points of view okay they don't handle very well uh different narratives as well and it's not like they always think that they are right but for them it's either their way or the highway now it is because we do have the hermit there uh, that is a person who is very displeased of seeing you doing what you are doing or you know for example taking the job that you are taking uh striving for the person that you want to be with okay uh, that may that could be cousin of yours it could be a friend of yours colleague of yours as well but in generally it's a it's a person who is going to challenge your choice is going to challenge as well your performance in general and uh by doing so they are just going to bring in your life a pointless wrangles they will bring into your life as well pointless scandals drama also it's uh, it's not excluded and in the worst case scenario with that individual that could have been somebody who was helping you up until this point and now they decide to withdraw their help because you are not doing what they want you to do which was not an obligation you took uh for for the help they are giving you okay and that itself could be the sense of uh, loss and disappointment 
that you are to experience here at the middle of the week, which is going to be with uh, the uh, Five of Cups. By the way, that could be uh, as well your child, okay, here or with uh, the Page, uh, with the Page of Swords, where, for example, you have to move because you do have a better job somewhere else, and your child, it's 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 angry, it's uh, uh, it's livid that they have to leave behind their friends and they just don't understand why you have to move, right? And um, nothing you say is going to convince them in uh, in the righteousness of your move. <clears throat> so, that whole situation may provoke, especially as well if the situation involves the help of this person, may provoke a sense of disappointment and as well a sense of loss. But with the Five of Cups, uh, the only thing that I can say here additionally, it is that although you may not be feeling at the top of the world at that point, you will have no doubts Virgo that you made the right move or that you made the right choice. Because with the Five of Cups, it's just the 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 lesson that uh, one has to learn from the card, it is that things sometimes, it's not like they go wrong, but it is like everything carries on an unpleasant part with it. I mean, an enterprise is like a coin. It has its A's, it has its A's, it has its tails, and you can't have one without the other. And uh, so you here you are going to find yourself completely prepared <clears throat> to to face the unpleasant consequences it's not like a negative consequences these are unpleasant consequences and once you pass through that the nine of cups manifests okay which is actually where you are to realize that that was a blessing in disguise like i said for example that person withdraws their hell but with that their influence also falls short and for that reason you have no that you, you do not have that noxious influence into your life anymore and now you can do so many more things but with the nine of cups at the middle of the week regardless of how disappointed you are going to feel up until this up until this moment um at this point you're going to start experiencing uh, the fullness of life and the sensual joy. Maybe the relinquishment of uh, the Page of Swords uh, made you realize how restricted you were up until this moment to date, to do what you like and what you love. <clears throat> to uh, How can I put it into words? Let me uh, muffle the voice of my, of my computer. Uh, and in generally to, to have fun, you know, to enjoy your enterprises, to enjoy your endeavors. Uh, aside from that, with this card, it's highly likely that you are to find yourself being content about a specific future, and that is because the things are going to go very well into that direction, either law future or business future, whether it is a project or a potential romance. However, that is going to carry on within the next card, which is uh, the, uh, the death card, seeing that that future currently isn't possible, although accomplishable, or how do I put it into words? It's possible if you do make the necessary arrangements, but we're going to talk about that in a in a moment. Uh, important thing about this future to be said as well, it is that while it is uh, looking very bright and things are to set off in a very good time, you should not take it for granted because uh, you need to do your part into sustaining it. It's the night the nine of cups while many uh, tarot readers are interpreting it interpreting that card as a wish is coming true which could be true all right uh that's it's a short-term happiness unless you do what it's needed to transform it into a long-term happiness with the nine of cups getting involved with the person of your choosing it's the easy part you pretty much are bound to 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 get involved with them but how this is going to last, it is within your hands, because you may get yourself involved with them for a couple of days and they decide that you are not worth the hassle, okay? <clears throat> but if you put the necessary effort to sustain that relationship, you may end up for a lifetime, who knows? But uh, <clears throat> going back to the future that is going to start shaping up into your head at uh, the middle of the week, you are going to start understanding that that future as a future cannot be faced you being a man or a woman from the past 
and for that reason uh from the mid towards the end of the week uh, <clears throat> things gradually are gonna start changing habits relationships structures into your career okay uh ways how you do things as well uh and with the death card that doesn't have to be a loss it's not even a loss by a large margin because with the death card the only things which are changing are the things that doesn't make any sense anymore things that you have no use of them at all it's not like they don't make any sense they may make sense to you right now but they do not make sense for the future okay so that's why sometimes the, the death card may be painful because people are trying to borrow time for a, for a relationship or for a project or for a place they stay while they it, it just that enterprise it lived its life and now nothing more that enterprise can offer you so my point here is that from the mid towards the end of the week whatever you see that has no you have no use of it whatever you see that wants to walk away from you let them go because on their place or they are to be replaced with enterprises that have a much bigger potential for thriving for the future and you are ending up here the week with a person that i'm not sure what to make of that person quite yet because um <clears throat> It's a very strong individual and uh, their, the, your relationship with them will depend uh, very much on the next week to next weeks to come. These cards are only describing what kind of a character that person is. And this is uh, a character who wants to be a leader. Uh, that is a character who has a very strong announcement that they do know how people operate and that they can understand the the, the 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 afflictions and as well the virtues of everybody that they face what i am trying to say here is that when you do when you are to be approached by the queen of wounds which is catalyzed with the knights of pentacles they will immediately will try to impress you by being able to for example build up a a a, a profile of you displaying your traits your quirks and as well uh your negative sides uh what else i can tell you about them they want to be always the most important individual out there in the center of the universe or in the center of the company getting very jealous if somebody else outshines them with their presence and as well with their performance uh but because we do have the knights of pentacles that person the queen of wands doesn't know what to make out of you yet i mean they don't know are you gonna be a good lover to them are you going to be a good business partner or a good friend as well it is just they that person needs a little bit more time uh i would say business partnership is going to go for a long run if you can come to um, a, a certain arrangement that it is well written okay uh romantic partnership with them very possible also but you need to know that they are going to resemble very strongly someone from your past just from these couple of cards so with that being said virgo this was your uh weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye